What's up guys, it's me, Jan here, and uh, last week uh, I compared the Lancia O37 and the Audi Sport Quattro, inspired by the Top <coughs> Grand Tour <laughs> documentary, bit of those two cars, and some of you guys requested the same kind of a test in Germany, so, ta-da, this is it. Uh, yeah, this time I made specific setups for these cars on that stage, and uh, yeah, I didn't go like to ultimate length at the tuning. I just made them feel comfortable to drive that I felt that I could get like 95% of the car, 95 of the car onto the stage, you know, like you get the idea, hopefully. Or then I'll just sound incredibly stupid. Either way, it works. Uh, but yeah, again, three finished runs on the stage for both cars. And uh, yeah, let's see which one is quicker. Let's begin with the Lancia once again. And here we are on the start line with the amazing Lancia 037. And off the line we go. And towards the first corners. This one was really, really tricky corner with this rear wheel drive car. It was really enthusiastic to throw the rear end out. And um, yeah, I had to take it quite calm in order to keep the car on the road there. And the sparks are quite nice addition to the beast like aura pro uh, yeah, possessed by the car. Really. It makes it look even more dangerous somehow. And uh, yeah, now coming up to the hairpins, taking it quite carefully. No major slides here. No. Uh, any other kinds of slides either trying to keep it really clean and tidy in order to lose as little time as possible in these low corners which are quite poisonous for this rear wheel drive car and again really be being careful with the throttle not trying to mash it all at once and instead of feathering it and really being gentle with it like it's my girlfriend and uh, yeah again the rear end steps out a bit and, uh, yeah, can't get on full Press. throttle here, almost at all. It's really, really, really uh, demanding, and it requires quite a good discipline for myself to not mash the throttle all the way through. And uh, yeah, here again, a bit of a slide, thanks to the rear wheel drive nature of the car, but. Uh, Holding it still together, keeping it on the road, and uh, yeah, can't go there without lifting, unlike in some earlier cars, or I mean later cars, newer cars. And, uh, yeah. This was a really, really tricky corner, not this one yet, but the one after one. This one, where you can cut like shit, like, you can't go on throttle through there you have to be really careful since the altering grip levels really upset the car since it's only got traction in oh it only drives from the rear wheels and uh, yeah that's why i can't cut that much on this run compared to the audi run it was a lot more careful altogether for example here as well i could go full throttle with the audi can't do it with this one and again Left on this corner the same, losing the rear end slightly, but not bad. And then the final corner and we are through with the Lancia 037. Next up is the Audi. And a smooth fade there to showcase my awesome editing skills and off the line we go. Yeah, I felt like that I could carry a bit more speed into this one and I didn't need to be that careful. The car didn't spin it even closely that easily as the Lancia but uh, then again on, it's a completely different story on these slower corners for example this left hander to the uphill and especially with the hairpins that are coming up shortly it's quite quite a bit different there I really had to throw the car in a bit deep into that corner yesterday and then again throwing the car and mashing the smashing the throttle in order to make the car slide through the corner gently nicely but uh, yeah completely different driving styles with these two cars 
and again a bit of a scandal flip going in and uh, then again sliding it through but I felt that this was the fastest way with this car since this is such an understeery car and uh, it requires quite a bit of manhandling in order to be driven quickly uh, that's at least how I feel and there a bit of a situation there with the rear wheels stepping onto the grass and here we can see that it's not as tricky going on the grass on this car compared to the Lancer since yeah, there's more traction and this car thanks to the four wheel drive I don't have to lift that much when I'm going through to the grass and here again the understeery nature of the car coming into play and then again visiting the grass a bit but yeah this car is easier to drive from the grass to the tarmac and then back uh, the other way around from tarmac to the grass and then back again to tarmac the altering grip levels don't trouble this car nearly as much as the Lancer 37 and uh, here on the huge cut I would go with at least some somewhat of throttle in there instead of having to lift completely like with the Lancia and again the car gets a bit loose and then turning it in first braking and then mashing the throttle in order to make the car turn completely in a power slide again and a bit of a scandal flick action since there were quite a few quite a few of understeering moments there on earlier runs and uh, again the understeer kicks in and then it's only the bump the left hander and we are through with the Audi and those were the runs now the winner is once again it's the Audi Sport Quattro taking the W here and uh, this times are on the screen now and uh, yeah I felt that it was quite a bit easier to take the Audi towards its limits even though I didn't get to its limits as well as with the Lancia but the last two runs were identical within the times in the Audi and on Lancia I got the second fastest time in the class on PS4 and here are the runs side by side to see the differences here we are on the start line for the final time in this video and uh, yeah it was quite surprising to see that the Lancia lost that much compared to the Audi but then again we can see already that the uh, Audi was quite a bit faster on the launch and then also there's quite a few tight corners on this stage as well in which the Audi is better since it can get the better acceleration out of the corners so in that way I'm not that surprised but uh, I think I got more out of the Lancia than I did relatively compared from the Audi and uh, in its class I set the second fastest time on the PlayStation 4 leaderboard with the Lancia 037 but I was nowhere near my uh, nowhere near the top 10 of the leaderboard on the Group B four wheel drive class with the Audi run and uh, yeah I think there's quite a bit more time to find with the Audi still on the stage for example here I fuck up a bit by go throwing the rear end around by accidentally going to the grass but uh, yeah last two times or the last two runs with the Audi were identical both of the runs had the exact same time down to a thousandth of a second so uh, yeah it's it's quite a surprising thing to happen I mean only three runs and two of them are exactly at the same time especially since both of them had slight mistakes in them although in different areas but still there were some slight mistakes and uh, yeah it's quite interesting to see still that the Lancia L37 is the uh, slower car of the two even though we are on basically on its home ground I mean or its home surface to be more exact but uh, it's mainly a tarmac rally car or the main priority with the car is tarmac rallying so that's why it's a bit surprising to see it getting its ass whooped by the Audi but uh, 
that's just how it goes apparently or then it might be also that I'm not that good of a real world driver driver or something I don't know but it's but surprising to see this result although it would be probably different with only on a stage that only has fast corners and no none of these slow corners that are featured on this stage but um, yeah let's see the Lance go to the finish and that's all for now thank you guys so much for watching and thanks for helping me reach the 600 subscribers uh, milestone if that's the word I don't know but yeah thanks for <laughs> helping me reach 600 subs and uh, yeah that's all for now thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you at Sunday on the final race of Rally Autosaria if not earlier thanks for watching bye bye